So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the external file sharing capabilities of Microsoft OneDrive. Organizations use OneDrive as a tool for storing large amounts of files, sharing those with colleagues, customers, and suppliers. But one of the things we have to keep in mind is that when we start to externally share files from OneDrive, it's really easy to lose track of which files have been shared with who and how. So we're gonna take a deep dive look in this video at how to share files externally in OneDrive, but we're also gonna take a look at the security capabilities. How do we know when people in my organization are sharing files externally with third parties? How do we track where that's been done before? And how do we make sure that the external file sharing pro process is as secure as possible? So we can see here in my OneDrive area, I have a file, a Word document, called Sales Report Jan 2020. If I go ahead and click on the three dots to the right hand side of the document, and then go to the Share option, at the top here, I'm given a number of options. It currently says anyone with the link can edit. If I click on the area, first of all, I'm gonna head down to the Specific People option and then click apply. So what I'm doing here is I'm telling OneDrive I want to share this file with a person I specifically name. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the email address of the person I want to send that to. And then click send. So if I head over now to my other email account, I can see what happens. So I can see here that as the recipient of the email, somebody has shared a document with me. When I click on open, I go to the sharing link validation option. So what will happen here now for the recipient is they will click on this button to receive a code to the email address you've previously specified. Once they enter the code, that will allow them to view the document. So that's a fairly secure way of sharing a document externally with a third party. Let's go back and look at the other options. If I go back to the three dots and go to share, you can see by default, the option I get is anyone with the link can edit. So essentially, I can now create a link to this document. I can send that link to anyone, and so long as they have access to that link, they'll be able to click on that link and view the document. There'll be no code validation, as we previously saw with the specific people option. However, to give this a little bit more security, what I can do is I can firstly set an expiration date. So that's the date whereby after which the link will no longer be valid. And I can also set a password. So when the recipient clicks on the link, they'll also have to enter the password as well. Now you can see we've also got this block download option that's currently grayed out. This will prevent the recipient from downloading the file. They'll only be able to view it. At the moment, that's grayed out because we're allowing the recipient to edit the document. Obviously, it's counterintuitive to block a download if we're allowing somebody to perform an edit. But by unticking the allow editing option, the block download option then becomes available. So I can switch that on. I'm going to leave that off for the moment and click apply. What that does now is that gives me the ability to copy the link and I can now take that link and embed that into an email to the recipient. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is how to create an email alert anytime anybody within my organization shares a document to a third party. So the first thing we're gonna do is log into Office 365 
and we need to head over to the Office 365 Security and Compliance Center. Now, I find the easiest way of accessing this is once I've logged into Office 365, go to protection.office.com, and if I want to go to the alert policies themselves, I can just do a forward slash and alert policies. Now, we'll see over here on the left-hand side, under alerts, we've got three options, the dashboard, we can view existing alerts, so any alerts that have already been triggered, or we can look at the alert policies. So if I go to alert policies, I can see a list of the default alert policies that already exist. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the new alert policy option. So the first thing it asks me to do is give the alert a name. So I'm gonna call this external sharing. I can give it a description if I want to, and then we can give it a severity. So for me, this is gonna be a high severity. And the category, I'm gonna apply information governance. So we can click next there. So the next thing I need to do is select the activity I want to alert on. So if I click on the drop down, I can see that there are a number of predefined options. Now, the one I'm interested in is the shared file externally activity. So anytime a user shares grants access to a file or folder to an external user, then this activity is going to be picked up by this alert condition. All I need to do now is click next. Here I can specify the email recipients. So as a logged in user, it's picked up myself already, but I can type into that box of users that I want to receive this email alert. I can set a daily notification limit. So if I envisage a high number of these alerts coming through via email, I can specify the maximum number of alerts I want to receive in any one day. If I click next again, I have the opportunity to review the settings, but let's go ahead and click finish and add that new alert to the list. So I can see my external sharing alerts is now at the top of the list and it's activated. So let's head over to OneDrive and test this out. So I have this file sales report and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this file using an external link. So by clicking on the three dots to the right hand side of the document and going to the share option, I now have the option to send a link to the document. So we can see here that anyone with the link can edit the document. All I need to do now is so what, let's just set a password for that. And apply. Let's use a new password on that link. It came up with that message because I have shared this document previously before. I'm gonna copy the link. Once I've copied the link, I could embed that into a separate email and send that through to the third party I want to provide access uh, to the file to, but I'm just gonna close that window for the time being. So now that we've chosen the shared option or chosen the share option, we've applied a password, we've copied the link. What I should get through now is an email notifying me that an external file sharing action has taken place. So I can see here the email alert has come through. So it gives me detail of when the file was shared which user shared the file, and if I want, I can click on the blue button to view further alert details. So having the capability to share documents externally is great, but how do I keep track of who has access to this document? Well, that's pretty easy. If I hover over the document and go to the three dots on the right hand side and go down to manage access, it pops this window up on the right hand side of the screen. So I can see here all the links that I've created to the document. I can see here the link that I created to share with a specific person or people and the link here that gives anyone with the link access to the document. But say I want to 
turn off all the links that I've created. All I need to do is go to the stop sharing option, confirm that I want to stop sharing, and that immediately prevents access to those links. So the final thing we're going to take a look at is how to use the audit log to search for any external file sharing activities. Now, the thing here is uh, in your organization, you may have been using OneDrive for a period of time and only recently realized that your users have the capability to share files externally. So whilst turning on notifications is a great idea, what it's not gonna do is it's not gonna help you look back historically to see what's already been shared. The best way to do this is to use the audit log search capability in security and compliance in Office 365. So by going to protection.office.com forward slash unified audit log, you can search the audit log to find out where these activities have taken place. So when you're in the audit log area, if you go to the activities box at the top, click on the drop down, and you've got a couple of options. There's various categories of audit activities, but the one you're interested in is the sharing and access request activities. Now, you can click on the category group, at which stage it will tick every sharing and access activity. But that could leave you with quite a few results to look through. So what we're gonna do is just specifically select shared file folder or site. Once I've done that, I can look for my start and end dates and I can even specify a time. If I'm interested in a specific user, I can click into the users box and enter their username down there to filter the search results further. I can even specify file names, folder names and URLs. We're gonna leave it open for the time being. So what I'm gonna do now is click on the search option. And it takes a few seconds to come back. But here I can see some of the search results that have come back, showing me what's been shared, who it's been shared by, and when it was shared to. So hopefully this has given you some useful tips on how to use external file sharing capabilities in Office 365. I find it a really useful feature and tool, but you do need to pay consideration to the security options. If you've got any questions, do leave them in the comments below, but stay tuned for further videos, hit the like button and give us a share. Thank you very much.